Yo, what is up guys? This is Brumanati and guess what? We are back. India number three. It's been a while, I ain't gonna lie. Had a baseball tournament spring up this weekend so I wasn't able to post any videos. Got back home, had some shit to do. Just now getting around to making some new content. That's the last tournament for the year so we're done with that looks like we're working on Rome we're starting out at round 22 and I might add that um, you know I got back on here and I was missing like five subs and I was just like holy shit man you fucking YouTube sub subscribers are fucking ruthless you miss a couple days and you're Audi but then, you know, I start investigating, and it turns out there was some type of... Oh, looks like it there, It was a glitch. At first, people were just like, YouTube was um, removing inactive accounts. So your sub count went down. And I instantly knew that that was wrong because, I mean, I've had a channel for a while, but I uploaded videos just you know in the past two months so none of the subs on my channel are inactive so I knew that was bullshit so I started reading a little bit more you know searching and apparently it was some type of bug some type of algorithm screw up something happened where it was removing the sub count from your um, page um, you know where it shows how many subs you have, but from your analytics, you still had the same amount. It didn't show like a drop of, you know, four or five. You know, with somebody that has 20 or 30, you know, some of these big YouTubers were like, I'm missing 60 fucking thousand subs. So yeah, a lot of people were pissed off. But it looks like it got it taken care of. Mine appears to be nearing normal again. Looks like we're taking Rome out here. And also, you know, you've heard me talk about my shitty internet. Finally fucking, and I got AT&T. We started out, we had Cox Cable, right? And... You know, they might be a Midwest thing, so you guys might know, not know about them, but, uh... Man, they just keep raising their fucking prices. You just can't get the same bill consecutive months in a row. So we switched to DirecTV. And personally, I have not had a problem whatsoever with DirecTV um, cable. It's been everything I could ask for. Their internet, on the other hand, has been a pain in the fucking ass. So, it's working now a lot better. We finally got the newest modem. And I don't know why they start you out. And this is with any cable company I've noticed. They start you out with like the shittiest, oldest fucking modem they have. I mean, they're reaching back to fucking 1980 and pulling out a modem for you. It's utter shit. And it's like, they set it up so you have to complain like three or four times and they, they'll, like, increase, you know, the newness of your modem. Like, okay, you get a 10-year-old modem, you complain once, maybe it's only 8 years. You complain again, you get 6-year-old modem. One more time, 4-year-old modem. Complain one last time, you get the fucking recent model. So now we have a decent model. It's dual band, which was the problem because we had, like, fucking zero bandwidth. I mean... I couldn't be on a cell phone playing a fucking game and another person, you know, get on their cell phone to check Facebook that it wasn't making the game lag. It was absolutely fucking ridiculous. I felt like I was on dial-up. Fuck. But enough of that. I'm sure you guys all experience cable companies doing that shit. Just give the person the newest equipment. You know, everybody else has to deal with their shit going out. You know, you buy a computer, it's outdated in six months. It's too bad, you know, guys. You, you buy a bunch of modems and they're outdated. Don't fuck the customer over for it. 
And you know, like, older people get fucked so hard. You know, the young younger generation, they probably think, you know, they might know a thing or two about the internet. But I'm sure they just hose the older people. Well, that's the best modem we got. Yeah. Looks like we're starting to get a little bit into Germany here. And like I told you at the beginning, if you're neutral, you are an enemy of me. You know, if you ain't on the team, you're against the team. I'm still waiting for the right moment to spring on that. It doesn't always work out as the Iran one proved, but that was like more of an outlier. That that usually doesn't happen. You can usually hop on hop on the one of those Chinese cities right as the US um, clears it out. Zurich, you know, you should have been on, you should have been on the winning team. Cause now you done fucked up. Luckily for us, those two German mouses up there have been heavily damaged already. We should be able to plow right through those, take over the heart of Germany. Investigate this, getting close. I'm gonna have to build something here. That's gonna hit pretty hard for a while. Looks like we, we got a pretty good front here. We got some got a pretty good amount of super heavies coming in. Although they always get bottlenecked uh, when they start heading into Spain. I swear like the neutral cities are so much harder to fucking knock down than just a regular city. I mean, Zurich's probably harder than Berlin to knock down. And Leon is ours. Start building some nukes. Gonna finish this one off. Yeah, I might as well hit that too. Go to another one for good measure. Finish them off with a little bit of strafing runs.
Boom. Sorry, Germany, you're out of there. I don't know what, what the fuck Britain was on Berlin for. I feel like I forgot about this last time. I don't think I moved those last round. I do remember checking this last round. I better build another one just to make sure. Actually, after that, I probably don't need it. Well, that does it for India 3, guys. Thanks for sticking around and watching my shitty-ass content. You know what? If you like shit, then go ahead and slap the shit out of the like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you back here next time around. Peace!